Welcome to episode number two of the survey to go basic training. My name is David and I'm going to be your host. I'm one of the scripting managers here in Dublo. And in this episode, we're going to add the screener chapter to our already existing survey. So quick reminder, we are scripting the demo vehicle survey and we already did the intro section in our last episode and today we're going to add the screener right here which goes all the way down up until the LSM here and we won't be doing the LSM in this episode we're gonna do that in our next episode now I'm going to get started by adding again all of the questions so I'm doing um, the scripting again in two passes first pass will be adding all the questions then the second pass will be dealing with the logic. Again, this is a good uh, best practice to do. It makes everything much more ordered. Now you might notice that in this section we actually have variable names, so we're gonna make sure we add those as well. done adding all of the um, questions and answers and you might have noticed that I added also the um, variable names to each of the questions. Now here's a nice tip I can give you on variable names. If you'd like these to um, appear on the tree next to the questions, you can actually do so and to do that you need to make sure you put in the values in the short ID as well which I have done. I've added every variable name to the short ID as well and then you simply go to the um, survey itself you go to the properties uh, tab and you check this box the short ID as question index and you also set the um, show question index box what this will do it will actually when you're on the question itself the interviewer will see the um, variable name right here so the short ID will appear here so instead of adding S2 for example in this place um, you can simply um, not do that and just add the variable name and set those two boxes. Now in addition to that, what you can do if you'd like to see the variable name right here on the tree, the only thing you need to do is to go to the tools settings, then go all the way down to these designer options and check this tree node label and sh it can either show the variable name or the short ID. So we'll pick variable name and I'll click on OK. And so now the options are saved. We're just going to save our survey and reopen it and that will apply our um, changes. So I'll double click on the survey. And now you can see I actually have the variable names right here and it's also... Alright, so uh, all that's left now is to go ahead and put in the um, skipping and branching rules and we're going to just do them one by one. So let's start with the first one. On S1, it, this will be a part of the quotas and this is uh, we taken care of in later episodes. In the front, S2, we have to close the interview if one of these has been chosen. So to do that, we'll go to S2, we'll go to the rules section and we'll add another jump rule and we'll put in here contains one 
of and we'll say it's cur quest and it's one two three one two three four five so if this is the case we're going to make sure we cancel the survey now the reason I'm using contains and not answer equals is that this is a multiple selection question so instead of answer equals I use either contain or contains one of so next in S3 we need to make sure we close the interview if the answer is yes and this is a single answer so we'll go over to S3 and yes is one we'll add another rule saying answer of cur class equals one or want to cancel moving on now we come to this part this is a um, the age of the person and then from the age of the person we need to put that person's age into the different tiers now mind you this is this question does not show to the interviewer and you can see that I actually marked on S5 which is the program age band I've checked this dummy hidden box which means it won't be shown so I need to fill this question from the numeric question right here that asked me about the age so this question the um, age will fill this one so to do that I'm going to go into my scripts on S4 the numeric one I'm going to go to the end script and I'll put in the code so here we have the code that we want to use we first, first save in a variable the uh, age which is the answer of the current question or S4 mind you you can put in the actual variable name instead of the uh, index of the question which makes it very easy to use and then we just check the check the bands and use the set answer function to set the answer of S5 accordingly based on the different age bands which are shown here so this is the way I populate the dummy question and I have to do that in the end script of the previous question because the start and end script of hidden questions are not run and the logic of the questions will not run as well so any logic I want to put in for example this one which means I want to exit on 1 or exit on 5 I'm going to have to do in S4 so I'm going to, to do that right now. I'm going to go to the rule section. I'm going to add a rule saying um, answer of um, S5 equals 1 or answer of S5 equals 5. And if this is the case, again, 1 and 5 being the ones I want to close the interview, I'm going to set the ac action to cancel. So lastly, I just want to put in the rule for S6 and S7, and it's the same rule. If the answer is 2, I want to close the interview, so let's do just that right now. I'm going to set the answer of cur class uh, equals 2, and I'm going to save that to be able to paste it. And I'll say cancel, and I'll move over to S7. Add, sorry about that, add the same rule and do the same cancel so now we want to test out the survey so let's run the emulator and as you can see it actually starts from the beginning we already tested that so instead of that I'll head over back and I'll right click on a record gender and I'll click on start question in the emulator so that will start the question right from where we want it so I'll need to record the gender. I'm going to say male. And then do you any have worked in these occupations? And if you remember, any one of these will cancel the survey. So if I click this and I click on next, it says that survey was canceled. Now this is a bummer because now I need to start a new survey to test out the other options. So I'm going to teach you a little trick here. And if I go to the survey properties, I can check this box to prompt on cancel and what that will do is when I go back to my emulator and I'll jump over to the gender question again 
Now, if I choose something here, it'll tell me you're about to cancel the current result. Do you want to continue? And I can say then no, which makes it much more easier for testing. So all of these uh, generate a um, cancellation, and this one should allow us to continue. Have you been interviewed the last three months? Yes, should mean that I'm going to cancel, and I'm going to say no. Could you please tell me your age in years? So I'm going to say 45, and I'm going to see real close. You can see here on the log, I actually see the set answer function being called on S5, and I can see it's the third uh, option, and if we go back to S5, third is 40 to 40 to 59, which is correct. And I'm going to run another test here. I'm going to put in here 61 and see if we are being cancelled. So, yep. So this is working okay. And I'll just make sure we can continue. And then do you own a car? If I say no, it'll ask me to cancel. And are you the primary driver of the car? If I say no, it asks me to cancel. And yes means it's okay. Here we go. All right. So we su successfully added all the screening questions and we're only left with the um, LSM here, which we're going to do in episode number three. So thank you very much. And I invite you to uh, join me on episode number three where we're going to do the LSM.